Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to the 2013 BOGC Fantasy Football Draft. I am Joe DeProsper, your host, and tonight I'm accompanied by my son, Antonio. Say hi, Antonio. Hi. <laughs> He's actually way happier than I thought he was going to be doing this. So, um, I always like to top what I did the previous year, and I don't think I'm going to top what I did last year. So this year I figured I'd do something weird and different. So what I'm going to do is pull each name one by one, and after I pull each name, I'm going to describe what each of these people are like, um, but I'm going to compare them to a fictional character that my son Antonio would know. Sunny day, sleeping out, clouds away. So the 12th pick in the BOGC fantasy football draft, we have, what does that smell like? Paper. Paper, okay, that makes sense. Okay, the 12th pick in the fantasy football draft, we have Todd. Todd. You don't know anybody named Todd, do you? That's because that's a weird name. Anyways, so Todd. You know who Todd is like? You know your favorite movie, Annie? He's like Annie's parents. You never really see him, so we're not sure if he really exists, and we're not sure if we really care. Okay, so that's the 12th. So what comes after 12? Remember, we're going down, so it's 12... 11. Okay, great. So with the 11th pick in the Fantasy Football Draft, we have Andrew S. You know what Andrew S., you know what he's like? He's a lot like Buzz Lightyear. He's always making grandiose claims about adventures he had in his past, but nobody's around that can even support those claims, so I think he's lying. What do you think? You think he's lying? Yeah, he's definitely lying. So with the, okay, so it was 12, 11, then what's next? Mm, 10. 10, okay, tell the camera. 10. Okay, thank you. With the 10th pick in the BOGC draft, we have hmm. Uncle Mike. Hmm. Now you know Uncle Mike, right? Do you like Uncle Mike? Hmm. <laughs> I don't like him either. With the 9th pick in the fantasy football draft, we have Cousin Kyle, Antonio, don't abandon the game here. Cousin Kyle, I know I know Cousin Kyle isn't very interesting to you because you don't know him. But Cousin Kyle is a lot like, you know who he's like? He is like Elmo's mom. And do we ever see Elmo's mom? No, you never see Elmo's mom, so we're okay with that. The eighth pick. Okay, so we went 12, 11, 10, 9. So with the eighth pick in the BOGC draft, we have Justin. You know Justin? Do you remember him? Yeah. He's kind of crazy, right? <laughs> but you know who Justin's like? Justin's like Woody. Yeah. You know why he's like Woody? <laughs> because he's always telling people what to do. He's always acting all, you know, kind of on his moral high horse. You know, he's like, hey guys, you shouldn't be having that milk. There's chemicals in there. I'm a vegetarian, although I just had a filet mignon. <laughs> so, seventh pick in the BOGC draft. Who do you think it's going to be? Think it's going to be Daddy? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe. But the seventh pick in the draft, we have... Ha ha ha! It is Daddy. You know who I'm like? I'm yeah. like the Incredible Hulk. What? You know why? Because sometimes you do terrible things that make me angry and want to hurt people. What? So, number six pick in the BOGC draft. Okay, who do you think it's going to be? Mm. Nate? Mm. No, I don't think so. Okay, the sixth pick, we have Scott. Mm. And Scott is a lot like... You know what he's like? He's like Cookie Monster. He's like Cookie Monster because he's cookie. very hairy and he ate 26 cookies in one sitting. So number five pick in the BOGC draft, we have Andy Marillo. You know Andy, right? Gabriella's daddy? You know what he's like? He looks like John Cicada. You know who John Cicada is? You don't know John. Hasn't he been on Sesame Street? He always throw random minorities on there. Didn't throw him on there. <laughs> number four pick in the BOGC draft. Who do we have as number four? You can listen to B. Very exciting. It's cutting down to the wire here. Number four pick is Doug. What? Good old Doug. And you know who Doug is like? No. Doug is like Floyd. <laughs> Floyd is the big. You know what Floyd is? Floyd plays in the Muppets band. Yeah. You know, Dr. Teeth's Electric Mayhem? And he's like him because he plays bass in a band that nobody cares about, and he has big nose. 
Sorry. So the number three pick in the BOGC draft, we have George. Remember cousin George? George is like Dora. You know Dora, right? You know he's like Dora? Because he'll like he's all like Americanized, but then just randomly he throw out a word like, you know, like let's go to watch the football or something like that. And, you know, come on man, you live in what, Saddlebrook? Get over it. Okay. So the number two pick. Ooh, what do you think it's gonna be? The number two pick in the draft is Jason. Mm. And Jason is a lot like Oscar the Grouch. You know why? Because he kind of smells, he has a real raspy voice, and he's kind of And the number one pick in this year's BOGC draft is none other than Danny Glossy. And you know Danny Glossy is a lot like Twist on the Fresh Beat Band. He's a white guy who thinks he's urban, but the closest he's ever come to the ghetto is driving past Newark on the turnpike. So that concludes this year's BOGC Fantasy Football Draft. Any concluding thoughts, Antonio? You want to tell the camera anything? Nothing? We planned something. You're just going to let me down like this? This has been Joe DeProspero for Antonio saying, good luck. <laughs>